own table and then wait for the other Armenian to come and sell his own uh, factory and uh, possessions. So again, even the process of theft itself was essentially made one uh, a bureaucratic process of uh, you know in, in essentially maintaining the legal dimension uh, to it. Chanut neru amash or inagi amash. Urish method mago korzatvi antandrabes deragan yeri turk regavardner den vor vorun gdramatrvi hayeru unetsvatska chanut nera. Ich bin sie bran osian vorschat ne shanavor zans mener krete an porch turkiomej. Ulemen shat ne shanavor erakir mega talat talat beyen. Urge poroke vor uremen gesegor cezi vstaet sank cezi pochant cezing ais chanut ner ais am porch abranko tuk voros spekulacion gadaretik. Spasetic, Abrank Spasetic vor Surna, Zachetic, ein Jamanak vor Tadar ger Chanute, Panalin Turindaga Tarikiev Elak. So essentially, another illustration of how this process worked. Now we're talking about shops and stores in 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 different areas. They used another method. The Young Turk heads, the local heads of the Young Turk party. What they essentially did was confiscate the Armenian property. And uh, one example he gave is the network of stores that the Ibranusians had. And uh, essentially, they confiscated the Armenian property. And we have a famous telegram from Talat explaining what was done to this property. Essentially, these people, uh, the heads of the Young Turks, uh, uh, waited for the prices of these commodities to, uh, to go up, sold the commodities, and then, you know, just uh, push the keys underneath the, uh, the store's uh, you know, door and close it down and that's it. Of course, the point he wanted to make here is that uh, what was happening is that there was an effort, perhaps this is what he's going to say, by uh, Talat and the heads of the CUP to create, uh, to make these... Middle class. Uh, to create a middle class... Of Turks. Of Turks. Of Turks based on the theft of Armenian property. So in this telegram, Talat is expressing his frustration that I am not taking away the Armenian's property to enrich these a few individuals. I'm taking away the property to create a broader base of a middle class of Turks. <laughs> yes. Um, and uh, because there is not, uh, um, uh, it's a problem. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> um, uh, Turk, Michak, Tasagart, I think, Kordzarar, Yebailen. Kochun Chuner, Batmagam Bajarderov, I saw Porch, Hin Kordzi Pashumner, Division du Travail, Vor Arevdur, Yev, Artuna Perutun, Dervazer, Voch, Islam Neru, Yev Islam Gabaer. Karakagan yev razmagan kordzorutuner iren samar. Bites das ne iner ortaru yegrot masin yev artuna perutian senk e raportun skasav. Ais kherjugerag halut banner gam arestaborner tarzan kordzader yev pavagan arust vorosh martots amar yev. Gerlank horil vor ais ais popochutuner pavagan ujer term khartsan yeri turk radicalization process image. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
gradually grew and become entrepreneurs and, and, and businessmen of, of, lar of larger uh, you know, operations. And this actually played a role in the gradual radicalization of the Young Turks. The process of the, uh, the, in, the, in, uh, you know, the, uh, the wealth of these Christians, these minorities, increasingly became one of the, the moving forces for the radicalization of the Young Turks. Ուրեմն իրերու կրավման համար երրորդ մեթոդ մը որ շատ տարածված էր օկտակորձված էր ժառանգության սիստեմը օրինակի համար ամբողջ ընտանիք մը մերցնել եւ մինակ պահել երիտասարդ օրիորդ մը որ գրնար թուրք սպա կամ երի թուրք նշանավոր անսնավորության հետ ամուսնանալ իբրեւ երրորդ չորրորդ գին օրինակի համար եւ այսպեսով այս ամբողջ հայկական ընդանիկներու ժառանգությունը ցերցկելու uh, another this is another example of uh, you know the, the ways in which the bureaucracy functioned in, in the, uh, uh, the theft of armenian property uh, uh, was one of the, the issue of inheritance what is what this essentially means is that uh, entire families wealthy armenian families would be massacred and murdered and one surviving daughter uh, would, who would essentially inherit all, all the possession of this family would be married, would become the wife, the third or fourth wife of a leading figure in the, in the party, in the, young, in the Young Turk political party, or uh, one of the, uh, the officials, the local officials or military officials in the region. And in this way, the wealth would es essentially be transferred to, uh, to the Turks. Um. Antanu Arbamp Shenoriv Bolso Badi Arkarani Ashadant Neru Aisinken Zinatatarem Verch Modavorabes Tsangadzen Yergu Azar Vojra Kort Salazal Magartak Neru Antanrabes Tsangerevor Bolso Badi Arkarani Archiv Neru Mechen Aispes Kasmager Bavadzen Arachin Magartaki Vraga Turbin Deragan Yerit Turk Badaschanaduner թիվ մեկ որ գրնանք սեբել կաղակական բադասխանադու շրջանին երկրորդ մագարտագի վրա դեղական բարձր պաշտոնյաները երրորդ մագարտագը ռազմական դեղական բադասխանադուներ եւ չորրորդ դեղական ասենք էլիտային շրջանակները որ ավելի են բալի մեթրուկեի մագարտագի վրա աշխատեին Եվ վերջին գետը ուրեմն դեղական տեշկիլաթի մասուսայի սպաներու անունները մոտավորապես 2000 անուն կա այսպես հրատարակած եմ ճշգրիտ ուղակրությամբ արդի թրկերենով որ իրարու ընտանիքները ջանցնան իրենց ժառանգությունը thanks to the efforts of the Armenian Patriarchate after the genocide we have the lists of uh, the criminals, the perpetrators uh, of this process. Uh, we have a list of 2,000 criminals and they are categorized in, in the following categories. The first level, the first category is that of the local Young Turk officials. These are the p political leaders of, the, of, of a particular region or town. The second is are the military uh, officials or the cadres. The third are the local elites and uh, uh, they're all essentially, uh, so, uh, sorry, the second are the local high level officials uh, these are the civilian officials. The third are the military officials, cadres. The fourth are the local elites. And these are the people who benefited, as we gave, as we spoke about a little earlier, with, uh, from the abandoned properties. And the fifth are the local heads of the special organization, who essentially uh, conducted the massacres themselves. Now, I have published this list completely with the correct current uh, spelling of their names in Turkish, so that their descendants would actually know uh, who these people are and, and their connection to, to modern day Turks. Ure, Verchin get a sketch for Nagan Masina Marborkish, a Sengarevor, Vorna Sharne, Ashadankin, Govera Peri, Hachibi, Uremen Usum Nasirat Dutin, I think on Seraspanutian, Yegrot Pule, Vorderi Gunena, Uremen Surio, Yev Mesopotamio, Anabat de Rumej. Mastavorapar, Mard, Sank, Dastabets, Minchev, Noyemper, Dastabets, as you can create a vet Samis, Ansadze, Ur, 
kes milyon joğurt mı? Kısanı hink gaykerumet zırvat koadevadze. Meryalner gayin payts koadevum baga yev Ուրեմն երեկվա խաչիգի բաշպանության նյութներ եւ անշուշ տեր ամենի չենք ճշտած բայց գսկսի գորքիշմը ճշտվիլ ինչ տեղի ունենա ես անցամբ ամոսված եմ որ երկրորդ որոշումը առնված է ավանապար մարդ 16-ին բնաճնչելու գես միլիոն հայ ժողովուրդը որտեր կոչուն ուներ այս անաբատներու մեջ ուրեմ են առաջին փուլ են 6 ամիս վերջ Another central theme that is covered in my book is deals with this with what I refer to as the second phase of the Armenian genocide This is the period uh, from March 16 1916 to November uh, March 1916 to November 1916 and essentially deals with the uh, close to 500,000 Armenians who had survived the initial wave of massacres, uh, disease, starvation and deportation and had arrived in, 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 the, in the Syrian desert. Now, uh, uh, for several months, uh, there was a relative lull of uh, massacres and, on these operations and although there were deaths in the, in, in, in the uh, 25 camps, concentration camps that were uh, built in the region, that were set up uh, in the region, in their in their zone and along the Euphrates River uh, leading to their zone. Uh, during the second process, uh, I uh, I personally am convinced that there was a second decision to uh, destroy the Armenians, this, to destroy the surviving 500,000 Armenians, uh, and and this decision also essentially culminates as as this, uh, in the second phase uh, of the Armenian genocide. Betkei shetsenel vor der zor anunov. Եվ մեկ երկու հեջով ընդհանրապես կլմնար այս երկրորդ փուլի պատմությունը մինչև 15 տարի առաջ մոտավորապես հիմա քիչը ավելի ըստագացավ մեզի համար այս հարցը Yes uh, in the, over the 15 years ago this entire phase would probably be characterized by under the heading of their zor and probably one would read one or two paragraphs about it alone and this is in the in the scholarship Now, with, with the work that has been done, we have a lot more details, uh, detail on, on, the, on this entire process, and we know how, uh, how the operations uh, were, uh, took place on the ground. Uh, uh, և ծևովը ոչ թե ծևովը գղեգավարեր այս 25 գայքերը որ ծրված էին մաստավորապար երկու ուսենք ուղությամբ մրա մեկը որ կգոչվեր եփրադի քիձը and եւ երկրորդը որ ռասուլային են թեբի բաղդադ so Is that what what we do know as well again in this uh, because of this uh, the current research we do we know much more about the sub directorate of deportations that was set up established in Aleppo and essentially ran the 25 concentration camps along two lines one line was the Euphrates line is it was the li line along the river Euphrates from Aleppo all the way to Derzor and the other line was that of Rasul Ain all the way to uh, to Iraq ուրեմն իմա քիչը խոսիմ մնացածի մասին եւ նախ սկիսպեն բետ բետք էի որ սովորապաշ նոլիսկ մաստակետները միջասկային ասենք մոդեցումով գմոդենան ասենք ծերասպանության գուզեմ ասիկա շեշտել Ես ագարակ ուղությունը հարած եմ այսինքն այն իմ աստով որ գխորին որ եթե միջասկային բանի վրա այս սովորական ընթացքով աշխատիք ծևով մը ծեր էդազոտությունը գբողդոր է ուրեմն ընդիդած եմ ծեղասպանությունը նախ իբրև ներքին օսմանիան խնդիրը 
a central distinction, a central difference between the work uh, I did and, and the scholarship that was available was one of approach. Uh, uh, a lot, of, most of the scholarship uh, approaches the Armenian genocide from an international perspective. It looks at the international context and then zooms into the, the Ottoman context. In my case, I, I actually look at the Armenian genocide and perceive it as an internal Ottoman issue. Եվ առաջին պազինին մեջ մասնավորապաշ պորձեցի աչկս դեղավորել այգագան և թրկագան էլիտներու առապերության վրա, որդև վերջի վերջո այս պզտիկ նեղ շրջանագի մեջ է, որ ծևով մը դրաման գերդվի։ In this context, I focused on the interactions between the Armenian and Turkish elites. Because the, the drama essentially unfolds in these little uh, tiny circles and, and networks. Uh, 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 Switzerland, Gam France, and Boris Chapov, London. And therefore, I had to also go back to the roots in this respect and look at the interactions between the Armenian intellectuals, Armenian elites, political forces, and their Turkish counterparts. Not only during the CUP period, but go back to the Abdul Hamid era and look at the interactions of of the of these Armenian Turkish elites. Uh, in uh, outside uh, the Ottoman Empire, in, in places in countries like Switzerland and France, where they closely interacted and coordinated their work their, uh, and their operations against Sultan Abdul Hamid. Uh, 